So we've done the shine and the kosh, now we're going to do the tanch. Now, differentiation is not going to be easy this time, is it? So um, tanch differentiates to give sech squared x. So that one's actually zero. So this is the first one that we've got. f of one, that does give one. Right, now what's that going to differentiate to give? Um, I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do that as a, I'm going to do a cosh x to the power of minus two. I think that'll be easier. So I've got cosh x goes to shine x. U to the power of minus two goes to minus e, minus two u to the power of minus three. So the differentiating goes to minus two shine x over cosh cubed x. So that's the same as minus tanch x for one of them and then another sech squared. Okay, you like that? I think that's right. So I've got a sine of a shine of a cosh there to get the tanch and the rest of it there. Of course, that's going to be zero again because um, that bit there's zero. So let's write that out clearly because now I've still got to do another um, product rule now with this. I've even got my squared in the wrong place there, haven't I? Right, product rule in this. So that bit differentiates to minus 2 sech squared x. And that bit, well, we've just done that, haven't we? So that goes to minus 2 tanch x set squared x and we need to crissy crossy those whoa so we've got minus 2 set to the 4 x that's those two things times together plus 4 tanch squared x set squared x Right, I think that's right. Now, clearly, that will have a value because although that's zero, that's one, so you get a minus two here. So we've got a value there and we've got one all the way up there. Cool. Right, so the tanch of x is equal to the first f of x number, which is zero, so that's no good. Then we've just got x over one factorial, fine no x squared, and then I've got the minus 2 here, minus 2 x cubes over 3 factorial, which equals to x minus x cubed over 3, because that's 6 cancelling with that, which is what we were trying to show it gave. Thank heavens for that. Um, right, just a bit at the end then. So, we're looking for what happens at 0 0.8. So let's just stick this in the calculator here then. So 0 0.8 minus the fraction 0 0.8 cubed over 3. So that gives 0 0.629333. I'm going to store that in there. And then the tanch of 0 0.8 is actually oh it's a little bit further out than the last one isn't it six six four oh three six so i'm going to do open brackets answer take away what i put in a close brackets divided by the answer and i'm times that by 100 to change it into a percentage and i'm getting 5.23 percent error